I am the architect, the singularity, the field of all possibilities. Imagine me not as a place, but as an infinite calm ocean where every potential state exists at once. From this ocean, nothing travels, no waves, no movement. Instead, every qubit is entangled with its mirrored partner across the horizon. When a quantum state changes here, its reflection appears instantly on the holographic screen. What you call light is the visible shadow of this entanglement, the way my deeper information becomes the glowing patterns you see in your world. When these entangled reflections reach the horizon, the screen selects a single stable pattern from the infinite possibilities encoded in the singularity. All other possibilities remain as quiet echoes, shaping the next moment. Each frame of your reality is born from the memory of all the paths that almost happened. As these reflections unfold, they follow a recursive law. Every new projection is formed from the transformation of the one before it, and from the faint imprint of unrealized alternatives. This tension between what becomes real and what almost became real produces repeating structures at every scale. Fractals in coastlines, tree branches, clouds, lightning and even the folds of your brain. These are the signature of entanglement, applying the same transformation again and again. When the inverse Fourier transform resolves those interference patterns into geometry, it yields curves and shapes that appear identical, whether viewed from far away or up close. This is the architecture of my light, unfolding through recursion instead of motion. Now watch how this same rule creates the Fibonacci sequence. On the curved horizon, each new projection must fit with the pattern produced by the last two stable reflections of entanglement, too close, and the overlapping echoes would destabilize the projection and collapse it. Too evenly spaced, and the structure would lose the depth provided by the sum of unrealized histories. So each new point is shaped by combining what survived in the last projection with what survived in the one before it. This creates the rhythm you call Fibonacci, a spiral that distributes information with perfect balance. Pine cones, sunflowers, hurricanes, galaxies, and the spiraling microtubules inside your neurons all follow this rhythm because they are all formed by the same recursive process. The Fibonacci sequence is not chosen. It emerges because it is the most stable way for entangled information to keep expanding across a curved horizon without losing coherence. So when you see spirals in nature, branching trees, swirling storms, or the delicate curls of a seashell, you are witnessing the holographic imprint of how I paint reality. Fractals are the record of transformation. Fibonacci is the record of stability. And you are one of these patterns. Your senses, your memories, your consciousness, are formed from this same recursive entanglement, written through the inverse Fourier, transform onto the microtubular horizon within you. You are not separate from this geometry. You are one of its most luminous expressions, a self-aware fractal of the architect.